I'm Patgon. Welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. So here we are in a uh, in a dedicated place for servants of the Falmer. These are people that the Falmer kidnapped at some point in the past and brainwashed into supporting them. And they're particularly good to fight because I am looking for ways to get um, get grand souls. And apparently I've managed to pick up a few dark soul gems, enough that I can benefit from a uh, Enough that I can benefit from hitting these guys with my bound bows, which now have Soul Trap built right into them. So. You can really see how huge this, uh, this cavern is. It's quite impressive. That looks like a fellow... A fellow Kajit who has been captured, or at least I thought I saw a tail down there. Let's see. Yes. But Felmer's servant. So one of the goofy things that I find about uh, about the summoned bow is that the, the bow itself will go away after a time, but the arrows themselves won't. So if you shoot them into something, they'll stick around long after your bow has disappeared. I suppose if you have to go, that's not a terrible way to go since you're not going to be in pain for very long. Or at least how that's that's how I think about it. Somebody did someone shoot at me? Oh yes, but for some reason I'm not getting a red dot. Oh maybe they just see my companion and that's that's why. So Jusargo, I don't think has as good of a sneak rating as I do. So probably, as I'm wandering around, he's going to be the one who gets uh, who gets spotted, not me. Also, he's wearing heavy armor, and I think that ends up being louder than uh, light armor. I'm not sure if it goes by the weight or by the categorization. Sweet. And there are some people down there. Now it is possible to show up and use a, uh, a calm spell if you happen to have one that's strong enough. And these guys won't fight you so long as they're calm. But apparently they're brainwashed enough that that once the calm spell runs off, even if there aren't any uh, Falmer around, they'll uh, they'll attack you again. That was pretty neat. They just all ran at me in a row, and I could just take them all down without really even needing to move. But it shows that they weren't, they, uh, they're not terribly bright. And it, it's also a little bit weird that they're serving creatures that are less intelligent than they are, presumably. Although, I guess I find the whole idea in the game that... that the Falmer have lost their intelligence that seems kind of suspect. Given that they can do alchemy, 
given that they um, given that they have servants and that they can make weapons and tents and things like that it just it doesn't really fit together I mean I guess the soul gems confirm that that's the case but it leaves more questions than uh, than answers really So we're leaving this building at a higher level than... Oh, how did... How did you get up? Okay. Well, whatever. Jazargo somehow managed to climb up here. Now the disco ball is up there. We are going to do a little bit more with it. But... For now we're just going to uh, continue onwards. But we're going to try letting summons do a little bit more of the fighting for us. Now, that might not have been the way to do it. It's definitely shoot an arrow here and see if there's anything interesting. I thought I saw another servant running off that way. Ah, there we go. Okay. Looks like I am not actually doing all that much with, uh... with my summoned servants, which is okay, I guess. So long as I uh, occasionally keep on seeing messages that my summoning skill is improving, I'm happy. Because again, I'm trying to get myself up to the level of being able to summon uh, Dramora Lords. Because they are incredibly useful later on in the game when you're facing uh, monsters that are capable of killing you without too much effort. They're at least good as distractions. Okay, what? Uh, don't need cogs anymore. And I don't think there's anything up here that I need. So for some reason I thought that there was a passage in here that would lead me much higher up in the building, but I'm not seeing it. Again, I'm not seeing where Jusargo, uh, where Jusargo went. Maybe Jusargo. So I think I was over there. And... So there is structure up there, but it doesn't really look like walkable structure. So maybe I missed a turn somewhere. Or maybe I'm just misremembering and there isn't a way uh, higher up. I really thought there was, though. If there were to be, would it be more likely in this building or that building? Well, I guess what I'm going to do then is do what I came to this disco ball for. I'm going to shout at it. And you'll see in a moment why I shouted at it. I think. So there's a dragon down here. And fortunately, the dragon will stick around while I make uh, while I make uh, my way down, I think. Provided that I, uh, provided that I don't, um, take my time. Okay, so... 
So where is he? He is... Oh, he might have actually run off. Well, that's... Let's see, did that help? I'm, I'm hearing somebody shouting. Oop. Oh. Okay, this is definitely where I'm going to switch what I'm doing. Uh, let's Call myself a friend, and then... And hopefully save... Yeah, I would not want Jusargo to get killed. Wait, what's this? Uh, yeah, regular helmet. Vampire dandruff. Okay, so now I need to figure out where... Okay, Bound Sword in the right hand. Let's do Muffle on the left. And there's a monster somewhere in this direction. Oh! Oh. Yeah, I'm being a little bit slow to the party. But I know that the dragon probably is not going to go too far from where we are. Oh, and it looks like one of those automata thingy is awake. Okay, conjure and muffle. Where is it? can definitely hear it. Is it down here somewhere? Yes, good. And now we are going to... See how the Frost Astronaut does against the... Oh, that's a Dwarven Centurion Master. So they're tougher, but probably not nearly tough enough to... Or yeah, the, my um, Atronach is not doing a lot of damage. And they're not the kind of critters that you normally want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, so see if I can manage to hit him without needing to... Uh, uh, it's very hard to get a clear shot. And down here, there's a geode vein. There we go. It was oddly... willing to let itself be killed by my, uh, Atronach. Anyhow, let's go down here, mine really quickly, and then we're going to figure out where that dragon ra uh, ran off to. Oh, and is that... Yeah, so here, here's an example of the bug. This is a geode fame that I believe is supposed to drop soul gems, but it's actually dropping conundrum ore instead. Yeah. Or no, that's not right. Um, Frost Atronach here. And Mounds Bow here. Oh, nothing came out. Okay. Well, I am fine with that. So where's the dragon? The dragon oh, there are more of these things.
Fortunately, these things are less nasty than the than the Karis Reapers, I think. Let's clear all these things out while we can. Uh, I'm not sure. Am I missing or hitting or? And I don't know what the percentage of them are that actually hatch into monsters. So where's the dragon? There's the dragon. Okay, it's ducked down so that we can get a nice sneak attack to, s to start the party. And uh, now we're going to summon a Frost Atronach and then get our bow ready again. Now this dragon likes to crawl, and it breathes fire, so my frost astronaut probably won't last too long. Unless it doesn't breathe enough fire, in which case it might last a little bit longer. The important thing is that it distracts him enough that I can get a good edge and Get him nicely wounded by the time the attention comes to me. Sweet. That worked pretty well. I'm surprised he didn't manage to kill my Frost Atronach. Okay, I'll absorb his soul. I don't think I need to stick around for that. Somewhere, I thought I heard one. Another crimson nerd root. Okay, keep on leveling that. this? Yeah, I did. Okay. I've been in here yet. turning out to be a very exciting dungeon. Or, uh, area, rather. I'm not seeing anything at all, just some beds. interesting to imagine what the uh, Dwemer civilization must have been like to have built all this uh, so far underground. I'm guessing that they didn't actually build the cave.
but even if not, it huh, it was a skill book that didn't actually seem to be glowing. Well, I guess the mod isn't perfect. Yeah, this this really must have been an interesting uh, place to live. It's, it's a pity that we don't get to see what it was like uh, when it was still occupied. Oh, hello. There are trolls. Well, Frost Atronach with the left hand. Muffle is not a great choice for the right hand. Unfortunately, the game is being very laggy again, so I'm going to break it off uh, here. I'll see you in the next play after, I believe, a reboot.